Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's do a K-Beauty get ready with me. I'm gonna do a makeup look, let's hang out. First, starting off with sunscreen. Awesome sunscreen. This is SPF 50 with the highest level of coverage, but completely invisible. This video is sponsored by Etude. This is a K-Beauty brand that has awesome products. Everything is really affordable, like really affordable. Now it's time for brows. I like this pencil, the way it's shaped makes it really easy to do my brows and brush through them so that they look natural. I got this sebum soak powder packed. This is like a cushion foundation only, it's not a foundation, it's for setting and preventing oily skin. And since I got this, it's much different than a traditional loose powder. It's pressed and I like to use it a little bit before foundation and a little bit after. I like how Etude products are affordable. This foundation is both affordable and it has sun protection. I would call this foundation matte, but not so powdery that no light can reflect off of it. In fact, it has light reflection, but it's nowhere near sticky or dewy. I really like it. Now I'm gonna take some concealer and I have two shades that I'm gonna use. One on the left is a little more pink and the other one is olive. The undertones are very subtle and the difference is really subtle, but I like the combination of both, especially the pink one underneath my eyes where they are the darkest. And then the one with a slightly more olive undertone that can go towards the outer edge and I'll use it to highlight the rest of my face. Once that's blended out, it's time for contour. This must be the most perfect contour shade duo that I've ever seen. It is truly super easy to work with. So often when you apply contour products, they are really pigmented and the whole idea is that you buff and blend them out. Now I'm gonna blend this, but you can see right when I apply it, it mimics the exact natural shadow on my skin. So placement is the only key and it's gonna go underneath my cheekbones as well as on the top of my forehead and it blends almost on contact if you place it correctly. I'm taking the lightest amount of powder to the sides of my nose, bringing the contour of my eye and connecting it, which in turn breaks up the porcelain effect of the foundation and gives a little bit of dimension that is completely palatable. It's not too much, which I've come to learn is the best way to do contour. Okay, I have some really cute lip products that I wanna show you. I wanna try them on first cause I don't know what I'm going to use. And halfway through my makeup, I do like to plan the whole look, including what I'm gonna wear. So I'm trying on this red oil. This is a lip oil and it is beautiful. It's soft and it blossoms to be very rosy and slightly pink on your lips over time, as you can see. And then we have this one, which is beautiful. This Lucite Effect container is beautiful. So you can see the glazed pump shade in pink with a little hint of this gold. It is very sheer and a little bit tingly. It will plump the lips slightly, but it doesn't burn like some. I have a few shades of this and each one looks so different in the container, but they are very similar. You have to pick based on the undertone that you want. So this blue one, the actual tube itself, this is my favorite, but I would choose this when I'm doing a cool tone makeup look because though it's subtle, that slight blue effect will bring the lips from neutral to slightly cooler pink. The purple shade has a more deepening effect, so it'll bring out the richness of your lip color, and I do plan to add it on top with this new fixing tint. This is going to be the base because it gives this matte, colorful effect that can be blended very easily. You could totally use this without your eyes open, pat it with your fingers, and you'd have such a great lip look. It's really easy to use. Once we do the eyes, then I'm going to use that with one of the glosses over top. So I'm gonna take off the lip color and wait until the end. Now I'm going to take a quick break and get dressed. I like to plan around what I'm gonna wear because it of course brings the look together and I'm going to understand better what level of intensity that I want my makeup to have. My dress has a really intense color and I'm going to mimic that same intensity with the eyes but still keep makeup really simple, focusing on lashes. 
I have always had trouble with my lashes and mascaras flaking and smudging and all of that. And I'm just using the one that I, oops. Okay, hold on. <laughs> when this happens, I'm happy that this happened because it is totally fixable. But what you have to do is keep applying your mascara. Do not touch the smudge until it's dry. Then take a little spoolie. I'm using my eyebrow brush and fleck it off so that it just comes off without disturbing or smearing. But speaking of smearing lashes and mascara, this is so cool. It's a clear product and it's called the Dr. Mascara Fixer. This is a fixing product that you brush on top of your lashes after you've applied your mascara and it will keep them curled but more importantly, it stops your mascara from smudging and flaking and you can use it over top of your mascara. So you don't have to go buy another mascara hoping that it won't flake. This product will take your mascara from flaky and smudgy to becoming usable and lasting all day. I don't wanna do liner on my eyes, at least on the upper lash line. I just wanna add a little bit of emphasis to the lashes with some half lashes and then if you've never done this before, it looks totally strange. I'm taking this cream gel liner and I'm putting it on the upper lash line, which is going to add a darkness so that it looks like the lashes are really full coming from the root. And you have to keep your eyes closed while you do this, I think. And then I'll take a little bit of it, but gently so that I'm barely touching my inner waterline and I'm just trying to create a little bit of darkness I don't mind any of that skipping there because I was trying to just put a tiny bit and then using that contour powder, I can blend it out and make it look lived in. Like it's been on my eyes for a little bit of time. I like that look. It's like natural, but relaxed, but still a little bit dramatic. Once I did the lower lashes with a little bit of mascara, I'm definitely going to need this Dr. Mascara Fixer. I'll put a small amount on the lower lashes because that's the main smudgy. You know what I mean? It's like the main thing that smudges. My mascara would just smudge, period. But whenever it's on the lower lashes, then you can guarantee it's going to bleed into the concealer and stuff. But this prevents it. I absolutely love it. I'm very thankful for this product. Now let's do lips before blush. I'm gonna use the fixing tint and put a little bit on the upper and lower lip. And then I'm gonna blend the color out with my finger. This blends and blurs perfectly. You can add more for more coverage, but I wanna add gloss on top for a sheer look. I'm using the Glazed Plump and this is in the pink shade. This is so nice with the applicator being silicone. It's not a brush and it's not porous, so you can spread the product really nicely. And the applicator itself just feels cool. I really like it. This blush is what we're going to apply next, and it is so cute. It comes with this little puff, which when I first got it, I thought, just like some little applicators that come with things, you think, oh, it's not really going to be the ideal way. But I am so happy with how this applies to the skin. I, it doesn't like, I don't know. It's very wonderful. They know what they're doing over at Etude. I will link all of these products below here. I hope that you enjoy this makeup look. I certainly love K-Beauty and I hope that you'll check out these products. Thank you to Etude for sponsoring this video. Click my channel to watch more.